everybody, it's Isabel back with another kid-friendly reading video. Today we're going to change it up and do a National Geographic Explorer magazine. First, I'll start with the January one, and that was a long time ago, but that's okay. So here's the cover. That's pretty funny. Polar bear. It you can't really read it, it's backwards. It says Arctic Alert. So we'll go to that one first and I'll show you the pictures and read the captions because it's gonna take a really long time to read all of the reading. So here you go. Okay. There's a polar bear looking down into water, and it says, the polar bear is still hunting. This one says, a polar bear pokes through ice in the Arctic. There that is. And here's the polar bear territory. So all the yellow part is where polar bears live. Okay. So, this one's really funny. I might have to look sideways for this. Um, okay. So there's a polar bear getting ready to jump, and it says, A leaping polar bear um, barely makes it across the gap in the ice in these photos. So here's the next one. And here's the next one. Now, this one up here says, A polar bear uses its large webbed paws to swim. And that is really rare for a mammal to have webbed feet. And then this one says, A polar bear cub clings to its mother. So here's some new words for you. Blubber means layers of fat. Habitat, a place where an animal lives. And a uh, pack ice, floating ice that has driven together in a single mass. And still hunting, method of hunting used by not many mammals other than polar bear. So now, We'll go to this. This is really cool. It's called Second Chances. So here's the picture. A salamander regrows the tip of its tail. And this one says... A sea star regrows part of its arm. This says, Colorful sea squirts can regenerate or recreate their entire bodies from just one blood vessel. So if there's just one blood vessel left of their body still alive, they can completely regrow their body, which is pretty crazy. Each fall, the male puffin sheds the outer layer of its beak. Within a year, the beak will grow back. Sometimes, the regeneration process doesn't work quite right. Instead of one tail, this gecko is regrowing two. Kind of gross. And then, we'll go to this space quest thing. Blast off with an astronaut on his journey into space. So, this one says, Earth's atmosphere changes color as the sun sets. 
bright arches of hot glowing gas erupt from the surface of the sun. Streams of gas hold on. Streams of gas swirl around Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. New stars are born in the Carino Nebula. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Oh yeah, and there's the Hubble Space Telescope, right? There. And then these two, this one, this picture says, The Helix, I think, Nebula is a ring of gas around a dying star. An exploding giant star formed the Crab Nebula. It's pretty cool. Word-wise, here's some more words to learn. The axis is the line about which a rotating body such as Earth turns. So, um, here, let me see. Let me see if I can find a ball. Okay. And then, let's see if I can find a pencil. Here we go. Okay. So, here is the ball. I'm setting it on my knee. Ugh. Here, I'll put it between my knees. Okay. Okay, so. Here's a ball between my legs. Pretend this ball is Earth. This pencil represents the axis, axis, which is an invisible line where it turns on. So if I'm going right here and it's straight line, it'll turn around this. So it'll turn like this around the invisible line. If the axis was like over here to the side, it would turn this way, like forward around that. So yeah, there's the axis, the galaxy, a system of stars, gravity, pulling force that all objects have. So, um, it's pretty cool about the Earth. You think that all things, all like gravity pulls things just down, but actually it pulls them towards the center of the Earth because gravity like sucks things into the center of the earth so if you're like on the top of the world in the north pole and you have a spoon it's gonna drop this way and if you're on the south pole then and you drop a spoon it's technically gonna go up but to you it's gonna be down so yeah people in the south pole are pretty much standing upside down which is pretty funny Rotation, act of turning around a center. So, rotation, like, like this. Like, my fake earth. That's rotation. And a star, a body of hot gases that radiates energy. Radiates means, like, puts off energy. Like, here, watch. This is going to be really bright. I'm warning you. So, these light bulbs radiate light. And, um, a telescope. Device used to study distant objects. So, anyways, that's this Discovery National Geographic Explore Magazine Day. And re er, see my other videos and um, watch for other National Geographic Explorer um, videos by me. Anyway, see you later. Bye.